Hello friends, welcome to a family dinner episode. I know this setup looks completely different than what you normally see on the channel, but today we are in the kitchen baking some Christmas goodies. I'm starting us off with a Victorian Christmas cake. I love this cake because it's filled with fruit. It's very light, but very filling at the same time. I love the fact that you can have this as a midday snack. You can eat it in the morning with some coffee and dessert. So let's just dive right in because it takes two hours and 15 minutes to bake this cake. Let's first go over the ingredients we are gonna need for this recipe. You'll need 12 ounces of red or natural cherries, an eight ounce can of pineapples, 12 ounce ready to eat dried apricots, finely grated rind of two lemons, 12 ounces of sultanas, so earlier this morning, I wanted to just make sure that some things were done before prepping the ingredients. One of which is blanching almonds. I blanched eight ounces of almonds. Four ounces is gonna be used for when you're mixing in the fruits, the nuts with the cake mix. Three ounces is gonna be used for the actual cake mix. And then an ounce is gonna be used to decorate the top of the cake. You're not able to purchase already blanched almonds. It's super easy to do at home. All you have to do is boil a pot of water and then throw your almonds in there once the water is boiling. You boil the almonds for one minute. Do not do more than that because it will soften your almonds and it'll be hard to work with. And then um, after a minute, you rinse them under cold water. The shell falls right off. So it's super easy to do at home. Another thing that I did this morning was wash your lemons. I always forget to do this in advance. The reason why I think you need to do this at least an hour, two hours before you grate this is because I have washed this and then immediately afterwards grated it. And then when you grate it and the lemon is wet, it comes out in clumps. So it doesn't blend well with the rest of the the mix. So I washed these earlier this morning. They're already prepped and ready to go. Oh my gosh, this is another thing I tend to forget, but take out your butter and have it sit out in room temperature. The reason I say this is because you want soft butter. You want the butter to mix. You want it to blend well when you're making the cake mix. And there's one other thing that you need to do. Oh, <laughs> you need to cut your parchment paper ahead of time so that it fits the tin. And then you wanna grease your tin and make sure that the parchment paper is sticking to it. Those are four things that you wanna do a couple hours before starting this recipe. I'm using a convection oven. <laughs> Let's start with cutting the cherries into quarters, placing them in a sieve and rinsing them under running water. Then I drain the pineapple from the can, lay them out on a cutting board and then chop them. I'm also laying out the cherries alongside the pineapple because now I'm just gonna dry them. It's essential to dry them as much as you can because if you don't, the fruits will sink to the bottom of the cake. You'll need quite a bit of paper towel, so if you don't wanna waste them, use a clean towel like I am. The apricots I'm using are dry, so I'm gonna snip the apricots into pieces with a pair of cooking scissors. Then, roughly chop the blanched almonds. Finally, grate the rind of two lemons. And I've already measured out my sultana, so all of those ingredients are going into one big mixing bowl. And I'm gonna use my hands and gently mix. In a separate bowl, I measure the self-raising flour, castor sugar, softened butter, ground almonds, and five large eggs, and mix that in my KitchenAid for one minute until I get a smooth consistency. Okay, this next step is probably the hardest part. We are going to lightly fold in the nuts and the dry fruit into our cake mix. And the reason why I say this is probably the hardest part is because we just had this cake mix 
in the KitchenAid. And while it's in there mixing, it's forming air bubbles. That's why when you have a slice of cake, it's nice and fluffy. But if you break the air bubbles, you lose the air bubbles that were formed in the cake mix, it will be dense and very thick like bread. I'm gonna lightly fold in the fruits and nuts. This is how you lightly fold in the fruits and nuts. You're gonna swing your spatula around like this, and then you're gonna go down the middle. Swing around like this, and go down the middle. So we're trying to mix the fruit in evenly. Next is the fun part. We're now gently placing our cake mix into the cake tin. Level the surface and then decorate the top with blanched whole almonds, cherries, and pieces of pineapples. Your oven should be preheated by now, so we're gonna put this in the oven for two hours and 15 minutes. Since this cake is baking at low heat for a long time, place a foil on top to prevent the top from burning after the first hour. Hello everybody. I am going to be making food for the gods. It's a Filipino dessert, usually most popular around Christmas time. So a lot of my family members, especially the titas and my aunties, they would make this and they'd bring it to our Christmas parties and I would eat all of it because it's so good. <laughs> it's very, very simple. It's just the most basic recipe is just dates and walnuts with brown sugar, butter, and flour. So to start, I'm going to melt the butter in a saucepan. It's one and a half blocks of butter. So on low heat. So you don't want the butter to burn. Alrighty, so now that it's got a nice bubble on there, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to a bowl to cool. I'm going to add a cup and one fourth of brown sugar. Yeah. Don't judge my brown sugar, it's all like caked at the bottom. <laughs> and then one teaspoon of vanilla. So, that. And salt. This is really nice salt. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. Perfect. And now I'm just going to whisk it all together. Mm, that smells good. All right, there's two eggs, so you want to add one at a time. Whisk. Wow. I still have to crack it like this, though. Like, open it. So I just sifted flour and baking powder. And then I have the walnuts. So I dusted the walnuts that are chopped and the dates in flour because it helps it from clumping up in the batter, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Pour this in there. And then you're gonna just pour this in there as well. You just fold it in gently until there's no streaks of flour in there. And that's it. I 
And once you're done mixing it all together, you're going to get a baking pan, a square one, or in this case, a glass one, and you're gonna line it with parchment paper, and then pour the mixture in, and then pop it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany. Today I'll be making a gingerbread trifle. This recipe has super easy ingredients. All you're really doing is assembling everything. Um, the only thing that I found difficult was finding store-bought gingerbread cake. So instead, I made one myself. The first thing you're going to do is divide the thickened cream evenly between two bowls. You will add the dulce de leche to one of the bowls and whisk until thickened. You will then add the sour cream and powdered sugar to the other bowl and whisk together until thickened. You will cut the cake into slices. Put a layer of the cake down first. Brush a layer of the marsala over the cake and then sprinkle some cinnamon. Next, you will need to crumble the gingerbread cookies and sprinkle a layer on top. Then, you will add up the dulce de leche mix and then top the whipped cream mixture. Repeat the layering twice. Finish with the remaining gingerbread cookie crumbs and top it with cinnamon. Oh my goodness, I am so proud of us. <laughs> we did good. <laughs> I, well, we gotta taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mine doesn't look like my aunt's, but we'll, we'll see. We're gonna try. I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. Yeah. Okay, let's cut into the Christmas cake. Oh Whoa. Oh my gosh, it looks like wow. those cakes on those boxes. Ooh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those Christmas cakes? Oh my god, and I'm so, so happy that all of the fruit stayed is, in. Yeah, stayed in. Oh my god, I it smell isn't it. Sunk in. You get closer, wow. you can smell, like you can really smell the fruit. Or no, oh. yeah, the fruit. It's right? like fruity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That literally tastes like that cake on that box that my mom <laughs> gets. Oh, mm. But it's like fresh. Oh my gosh. Freshly made. It's so good. It's like so moist inside. Wow. Yeah, it's very moist. It's good. Very moist. That was really good. Wait, let me see. I feel hours. like Paul and Mary on the Great British Bake Off and we're trying. Yeah, they'd you're like proud. They'd be so proud. Oh my god, what's funny is this recipe is from Mary Berry's cookbook. No, it's not. It, it is. is. It is. Oh my god. It's the Great British Bake Off is the reason I started baking. <laughs> I was always so intimidated because of the instructions. And then yeah. you mess it up, right? Yeah. You mess up the, the dish and you're like, I never want to bake again. Yeah. So I'd never do right. it. And then it's like, I want to bake, I want to do this. After watching the show, Great British, it just, she said anyone can bake, it's easy. And it's all about learning a technique. Right. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy that cookbook and I'm gonna learn. Yeah, you've made a lot of things out of it, I feel. Yeah. So I wanted to tell everyone, including you, earlier I mentioned that you needed to dry the fruits because if you didn't, it would sink to the bottom of the cake. Okay. And remember earlier when I was decorating the top of the cake? Yeah. I forgot to dry out the cherries and pineapples that I was decorating the cake with and look at the top of it. It's sunk in. So that just goes to show you need to dry out your fruits. But yeah, I mean, you couldn't tell. No, you can't you tell. You can't tell. I mean, it you still tastes know. great. It's it delicious, yeah, it's well. fluffy, it's light, it's moist. Right. Wait, do people not like using the word moist? I don't even care. No, I, I know. I don't care. For a cake? I've heard that on baking shows. Okay. I mean, like, I can see. So I know. Like, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. No, it doesn't bother, bother me either. either. No. I don't think it's weird until someone told me it was weird, and I was like, oh. That's no, not I've weird. always heard it, like especially cakes, because yeah. they're they have to be moist, right? Yeah. Like it's what other way? It should be moist. Yeah, how else yeah. would you describe it? I know. It? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> next dish. Oh, so this is food for the gods. Food for the gods. Um, it looks way different than my aunt's, but. It's like a granola. Mm -hmm. okay. It is. It With is. Dates in it. The texture mm -hmm. is very much like a granola. Mm -hmm. 
It's like not a brownie, but it's not a cookie. Yeah. And you said this is a Filipino dessert? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm, popular I've, in the I've, Christmas time. I've never, I've never heard of really. it either. Ever. I've never I bet heard if you dessert. ask your mom, though, she'll know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to ask her. I like the dates. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love dates. Mm hmm. As they would say in Japan, oishi. oishi. <laughs> So when you take the scoop, make sure you get to the, the gingerbread Crumble. part. So you get the, at least all of it. Oh, nice. the, so this you is like the right cookie? here. Yeah. yeah. And it's then just, this is the gingerbread. No, this is actually bow. Bow? Oh, okay. Cookie. Yeah, it's yeah. like on top of it. Okay. But the bottom layer is the same thing. So you don't have to go all the way to the bottom. Got you don't it. Have to. I see. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Ooh, that's a oh good bite. Ooh, that's a good bite. <gasps> That's a good bite. Oh, it's about to. Oh, it's falling. <laughs> I saved she it. Got it. <laughs> okay. There, there we go. go. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Oh, okay. So we can all taste it together. Oh, I think I went too deep. Oh, a lot of freaking oh, I love so it. Big. Ooh, okay. look at that. Look at those layers. I'm like, oh, Brittany's is so, so small. small. You guys went all the way. I just, Girl, okay. I want a like, well rounded bite. I think okay. I got the. Oh, we'll see. I'll take it. Okay, another. cheers. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Very I did like, not expect it to taste like that. I didn't know it was. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I mean, I knew it was going to taste good, but yeah. the flavors. Yeah, yeah. Like all together. It's right. so good. It did come out good. I am so proud of us, but if we did another like cooking family dinner episode, what should we make? Pasta. Pasta? pasta. Yeah. So we each make a pasta. Different kind of pasta. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that's a good idea. Ooh, I like that. If you are all still here, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays!